Welcome to a super speedy explanation of Resistors 101 by Beauty and the Bolt. Before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button so that we'll feel validated and in the words of the cutest, Resistance is futile. And also be sure to click the bell because you want to know when we post new awesome videos. Resistors limit or regulate the flow of electric current. Think about it like this. There's a continuum and on one side there's insulators and on the other side there's conductors. Conductors resistance is zero and a true insulator's resistance is infinite. And all of the space in between is resistors or resistance. Here we're mostly going to be discussing the practical applications of resistors. For more on resistance and Ohm's law, check out our Electricity 101 video that links down in the description below. So the purpose of a resistor within your circuit is to regulate the voltage and the current of a particular spot, a particular component. Think about it like this. If you have a six lane highway and there's an accident that shuts down three of the lanes, the current, the flow of cars slows down dramatically and you get stuck in a traffic jam. So resistors are the accident, except in a lot of cases you want that to happen. So say for example you have a component that can only run on 5 volts, but you're running off a 9 volt battery. You need to reduce the current, which will then reduce the voltage thanks to Ohm's law, and you'll have a, a spot in the circuit that's safe for that component. Although surface mount resistors are available on your computer boards and PCBs, typically as a hobbyist, you'll be using resistors that are color coded. And knowing how to read a resistor is a really important skill. So when you're reading a resistor's values, you tend to read, you read from one side to the other. And typically there will be three bands closer together and one slightly far apart. You're going to want to start on the side where it's closer together. The first two bands will be the digits or the significant figures of the number. And the third band will be the multiplier. So you know, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth. And the last band will be the tolerance, so 5%, 10%. So if you have a 100 ohm resistor that's a 5% tolerance, it could be anywhere from 95 to 105 ohms and still be within spec. To see the value specifically, consult a resistor color coding chart. I have one hanging above my desk and I highly recommend you do too. Okay, so one of the most simple but necessary things you'll need to do with resistors is add them together. And there's two main ways that we do that. One is in series and the other is in parallel. When you're adding resistors in series, you basically just put them end to end. So you have R1 plus R2 equals your total resistance. And that's actually how it works. R total would be R1 plus R2. If you have them in parallel, it's a little bit trickier, but it's not too bad. You basically have a circuit diagram that looks like this, where the two resistors are running parallel to each other. Your R total will be the reciprocal of 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. An easier way to think about it is 1 over R total is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And this would go if you had R3 and R4 and R5 and they're all still in parallel, it would be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4, etc. So that's it for this video. If you want a more in-depth video on resistors and capacitors and stuff, feel free to leave a comment. But for today, we want to keep things as simple as possible. 